bottoms up. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie drinking games. What with pizza? Hair of the dog that bit me. For this list, we've chosen films that are great to watch with your buddies and have fun drinking games associated with them, either because of running gags, repeated themes, or some other crazy reason. But please remember, always drink responsibly. I am dangerous. Number 10, Top Gun. I feel the need, the need for speed. Known for hot stars, hot action, and hot volleyball, this classic 80s flick goes great with a brew and a soulful sing-along. You've lost and love and feeling. So, when characters look at each other in a homoerotic way, drink. You see a high five? Drink. Maverick breaks the rules, drink. God damn it, Maverick. You hear Kenny Loggins? You better believe it's time to take a drink. Just stay out of the danger zone. Number nine, up. This one will get you buzzed in no time. And if you're in the mood to drunk cry in front of your buddies, even better. I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Can I stay? The rules. Every time Carl finds a new use for his cane, take a drink. Get back! N-O. <laughs> I'm stuck with you. Every time someone says adventure, take a drink. Adventure. 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 These pages for all the adventures I'm going to have. Every time there's an inside joke from another Pixar flick, take a drink. Hey, morning, Mr. Fredrickson. We're in a club now. And finally, whenever you start to cry, sob into your beer. Number eight, The Shining. Here's Johnny. Stephen King and Stanley Kubrick clearly wanted us to get shit-faced when they devised this story. Be sure to pull a Jack Torrance every time room 237 is seen or discussed. What about room 237? Room 237? Let Lloyd pour you another whenever Jack's working at his typewriter. If someone says Torrance, take a sip. Torrance. Torrance. Oh! Torrance. 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 And if you're looking for a really good time, drink whenever someone sees something that's not really there. Hi, Lloyd. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. Good evening. Number seven, Reservoir Dogs. A little break? Yeah. Thank you, Quentin Tarantino, for blessing us with a film that is both entertaining and ideal for drinking games. Try this. Everyone picks a character name. Why am I Mr. Pink? And for the entire film, you drink whenever that character smokes, swears, you. drinks, kills somebody, says diamonds, or is killed. <laughs> then you pick another character and keep going. Or just drink whenever someone says the F word. You'll be in good or bad shape. Number six, Dazed and Confused. Did you order some kegs of beer? It's a coming-of-age movie with a rockin' soundtrack, awesome performances, and stoner Matthew McConaughey. Say, man, you got a joint? As if there were another kind of Matthew McConaughey. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> if you want to get as wrecked as the Lehigh students, follow these rules. Take a drink whenever someone gets paddled, someone drinks or smokes a joint, or Parker Posey says bitch. Bitch. Bitches, bitches. Yeah. Bitch. Down your entire drink if McConaughey says, all right, all right, all right. Number five, Die Hard. <laughs> no John McClane movie would be complete without a ridiculously high kill count. And that works to your advantage when playing the Die Hard drinking game. Every time our buddy Bruce takes out a terrorist, sip. Whenever someone's chatting on a walkie, sip. We've got a fire alarm. 
Mayday, mayday. I'm on my way. Very kind of you. Over. Roy. Oh, you're in charge. John. You hear that? Whenever McLean is talking to himself, bleeding, or says motherfucker, sip. yippee ki motherfucker. And if there's an explosion, sippy ki motherfucker. Just be careful you don't die hard, too. Number four, Donnie Darko. This was so illogical, you know? This movie is a mind f so why not mess up your mind even worse with a little libation? Step one, drink when you see any kind of bunny. Step two, drink when someone mentions time travel. Where? Into the future. Do you believe in time travel? Time travel. It's called the philosophy of time travel. Philosophy of time travel. Step three. Drink when someone says Darko. Darko, Darko. 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 Take a big sip if they say Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko. Donald Darko. Donnie Darko. And if you want to drink yourself into an alternate timeline, take a sip whenever you see a title card. Number three, leaving Las Vegas. <sighs> Is it tacky to play a drinking game to a movie about an alcoholic? Either way, Nicolas Cage and friends provide plenty of opportunities for you to partake in the festivities. For example, if you think the characters should just have sex, drink. I'm in love with you. I suppose sooner or later we ought to f If Cage just starts yelling, drink. What? What? No! Whoops! I'm like a prickly pear! Just and the pièce de résistance, Cage drinks, you drink. If you can keep up, congratulations. Let's do it to it. <laughs> Number two, The Hangover. <laughs> Keeping with the themes of Vegas and excess, is the ultimate tale of a bachelor party gone wrong. Or right, depending on who you ask. For your very own hangover, drink whenever Stu mentions or touches his missing tooth. Am I missing a tooth? I look like a nerdy hillbilly. That is my tooth. I pulled out my tooth. Drink whenever somebody's injured. <laughs> oh. Drink whenever somebody says, remember. Why can't we remember it? What's the last thing we remember? I don't even remember going to dinner. I'm not surprised you don't remember anything. What if they don't remember us? We were shooting crap, you don't remember? Drink whenever they figure something out from the night before. I know where Doug is! And if you want to wake up beside a tiger, well, actually, we don't recommend that. Holy hey! he's not kidding, there's a tiger in there. <laughs> no, there isn't. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ooh. Milk was a bad choice. We can't stop here. This is bad country. Number one, there will be blood. It's critically acclaimed, it's about the SoCal oil boom, and it's got Daniel Day-Lewis. That's all you need to know. Well, that and it proves that any flick can make for a great drinking game. So, whenever you see fire, quench your thirst. Mary, she's the uh, smaller one. Whenever oil is mentioned, glug. The oil. If there's as much oil. 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 I'm an oil man. Oil. Oil. There's a whole ocean of oil under our feet. Whenever Eli pisses you off, swig. For my church. Will the new road lead to the church? Anything the church can do for you. You have arthritis, don't you? Daniel, are you a sinner? And here's why it's number one. Waterfall when you hit this scene starts to drink your milkshake. Game over. I drink your milkshake. Do you agree with our list? Which movies do you have drinking games for? Please remember to always drink responsibly and subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more boozy top tens published every day. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> <laughs>